So Howard, the man to take this one. You feel uh, all you need to lift up a gear, don't you, Steve? You really do, yes. You've got to take the gate to Chester. They're quite happy to sit back and see what happens. Howard swings that one in. Oh, it's a good header. Oh, Jones! Offside anyway, but uh, certainly caught in two minds whether they head or kick it, and in the end, uh, really fluffed his chance, although the offside flag up. Very tall defenders as well from Chester, and he always really obviously uh, they have to try and have a count that particular uh, obstacle. They themselves have got a tall back line as well. So uh, Billy Stewart again with the goal kick. Hales. Not too accurate, but uh, stays in, my goodness me. So the throw to be taken by Chris Zovisic. Flooded in there. Oh, the little flick! Oh, was it in? It is! Well, they're going to give it to Whitbread. I'm not too sure. It didn't come off of a Chester defender there. <clears throat> but Orion had the lead. So once again, uh, Chester's suddenly taking their time over the free kicks. But a premature jump there by Whitbread, he's penalised for it. And a free kick now in a very dangerous position indeed for Orient to defend. They've got every player back. Kelly and Thompson standing over this one. Comst is there too. Comst, Dave. Oh, Ooh. took a deflection. It goes for the corner, landing on the roof of the Orient net there. Taken. Good header! Oh, yes! 1 1. Barrows header. No chance for Turner. And Chester City are level. Steve Jenkins. That's just what Orient didn't want. When you think back to the past 10 minutes, they're really on top now, and they let Chester right back into the game. Now, Tomlinson, can he get there? Well, he waited for the ball to bounce and then fell over. Barrow, a poor clearance, picked up by Hales. And Orion get the throw. Taylor possibly taking it himself. Yes, he does. Hales. Low cross in. Right old muddle there. A charge through. Oh! So, a penalty. I don't think there are going to be too many complaints about that. Well, Hales, a chance to get his name on a score sheet against Stewart for 2 1. He scored it! Back in front, Kevin Hales from the spot. Forty-nine minutes gone. An hour gone. Lake Norian two, Chester City one. Kevin Hales has given the Londoners the lead again in the second half as Thompson gets a cross in there. Oh, just cleared away in time. Oh, that's a good ball. 
from Jones to find Tomlinson. Now Jones making a good run into the box. If he can find him, Jones gets a great hit. Oh! The best move of the match by far. Ends with Taylor heading into Stewart. But Jones with a good ball and then a tremendous run. I was only thinking that Andy Jones had a very quiet game by his own standards, but a very efficient game so far. He's just coming alive now, and it's good to see. Here he goes again. Jones onside. The cross. Oh my goodness me! Oh dear, oh dear. Billy Stewart, what was he doing? Well, Robert Taylor will get the credit, but um, Billy Stewart doing his best to emulate the uh, unfortunate Huddersfield keeper we had here, Tim Clark. And again, Andy Jones involved in that lovely ball he took down to the byline and put over a teasing cross with the keeper, unfortunately. But he's part in that goal, certainly. Howard with the throw. Oh, good. Well, uh, delayed whistle there from the referee, but certainly... Uh, Taylor impeded, the free kick not taken in the right position will be pulled back. So Howard it will be, down the line, with 25 minutes left on the clock, to Achimpong, who's trying to find room for the cross, which he gets in there, Stewart should have this, oh, he's missed it again! Oh, honestly, Andy Jones... Taylor has taken a knock in the process, but uh, Jones makes it 4-1. Uh, and Jones makes it 4-1. Taylor receiving treatment. But uh, once again, Billy Stewart at fault. Kelly inside now. Lightfoot with the ball forward. Good turn by Morton. And Morton's still going on. Oh, this is a chance. Must be, yes. Rimmer makes it 4-2 thanks to the work there of Neil Morton, who we've said all afternoon has been Chester's best player by far. And he certainly carved out the second goal and saves me from buying Steve Pine. It's four goals to two. <laughs> Kelly. Barrow with the ball wide. Picked up now by Ryan, the substitute inside of Kelly again, looking for the opening, finds Whelan in some space. Room now for Whelan to get his cross in, which he does. Far post. Comstead. Another cross coming in. It's not away yet. Barrow. Kelly. Goes to the touchline, whips across in there. Well, what was happening? The ball in the back of the net. Everybody stopped. I thought I heard a whistle, Steve, I must admit. Well, here you go. Well, we're not too sure who got that one in the end. It was such a mess. Two minutes left on the clock, 4-3, the Orient lead, and now...